Welcome to The Bracket, episode 71. Today, we are doing a bracket of the most embarrassing things to get caught doing. Uh, we have Feidelberg joining in as he'll be walking in in a moment. Got the full crew, uh, except for Coochman. We got Jason on the boards today. Thanks to Jason for uh, coming in last minute. We have a very, lo- very we have a skeleton crew in the, in the control room right now, right? Something <laughs> along those lines. Can a skeleton crew be one person? <laughs> Two other people probably in there. That's not enough for a skeleton. Yeah. I always wanted a skeleton key. Skeleton. It sounds so cool. It's a scary it? movie too. Is that key that just opens everything, right? I think. Is that the master key? That's a key to the city. So yeah. Well, the city is the skeleton in, in winter ice luge sports? How many people are in a skeleton? Two. One. I just saw Jason raise two fingers. Is it one? I think it's one. I think skeletons are the face first, right? Yeah. It's yeah. I think it's a oh, one. Skeleton. Scary as fuck. Skate, yeah. See, skeletons are really scary one. I think. Mm-hmm. Well. So then it's a one-person crew. How much does a top-paid skeleton get? Curious. You want me to look it up? Honda. Over a million? Uh, you ha- I th- 50% of skeleton athletes have to make the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. And me. What are the tri- the trials must be lousy. More than a triple A <laughs> <It's> <laughs> oh, like, You see the- No one's a... And they've doubled since last year. It is. I, I always knew they made not a lot of money. I didn't realize they made like sub-minimum wage. Triple A yeah. baseball players? It was seventeen thousand dollars was their average annual salary. Oh. Minor league? Yeah. Oh yeah. Triple A. That's one step away from being a millionaire. Is there a max for a player who signs like after getting drafted? There. Well, you there's get a signing bonus if you're like the, those car- stars that get those huge contracts are playing on the same team as these guys who are or in poverty. Yeah, the Red Sox had yeah. Chris Snake Castillo, who they gave I think seventy five million dollars to contract to get him out of Cuba. And he just sucked. Like, I think he played probably 30, 50 games for the Red Sox. And it was like a seven-year contract. I think he might still be on the Paul Sox. I, nah, probably not anymore. But, like, he was living in Pawtucket, Rhode Island with a $75 million contract. Jesus. <laughs> uh, that's always weird when they start out with those bi- that big money and they're in, like, the shittiest towns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm on the uh, glass door for bobsledders. Uh, it's a brew page. The glass uh, door, like glass store page for for Bob's letters. Uh, the the top salary I could see it's anywhere between forty four k and seventy five k for Bob's letters and skeleton salaries. So oh. under a million. Maybe they make some endorsement money if they make the Olympics. Yeah, that makes more sense. All right, we can get into it. Most embarrassing. He's endorsing skeleton riders. And what are they? Even, how are they even making any money? Calcium. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be that'd be the top guy, I'd imagine. Who else? Spirit is? Halloween, <laughs> the Barcelona Sports Store. Yeah, we were talking about this yeah. on the rundown. All our merch has skeletons on it. Now. It's insane. Oh my god! Every time there's a championship, <laughs> yeah, it's no. all skeleton, skeleton playing. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is that? Is, Why are we doing that? It's crazy. Yeah. It's so every single fucking time is just a bunch of skeletons. I don't understand why. why. It, it must sell. Like there's no reason to keep repeating it if Maybe it's not it's just selling. Easier it's, to do than like a person. It's just uh, it's it's, it's like, like the cool like Latvia, vintage right? Great, Grateful the, Dead. Is that yeah. like? Yeah. Yeah, I, I you know, all I remember doing at first was uh, who's the fashion guys throwing fits or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did that oh, early. Yeah, they did that, that the tie dye one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that was cool. Now we're failing upwards now, but failing upwards. Yeah. And now we're getting back to it like years later, I guess. We're finally realizing it was cool. <laughs> Anus has a skeleton shirt. Do we looked at really? a yak has one playing yeah. Brie, Barstool Golf, uh, BFFs. It's like every brand has a skeleton. Is shirt. there one on the Barstool branded Deion Sanders do rag? <laughs> Ooh, that's our next million dollars. Imagine a skeleton on the do rag, like you see the skull. Okay. Yeah. All right. Our first matchup of the day is the five seed versus the twelve. The five. This is Nick. Your your addition. I think it's a great one. Uh, not understanding someone's accent and just saying yeah to whatever they say, <laughs> even though it's probably not an applicable answer. Yep. Yeah. Happened to me at a All Greek diner well. with my dad. <laughs> yeah. I asked me how I wanted my roast beef, and I said yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <sighs> I think that's a really good one. And that's going up against uh, the 12 seed, also one of Knicks, uh, saying someone's in here when someone knocks on the door while you're shitting <laughs> in, a, in a public restaurant. God. That is that's a great one. Yeah. Very good one. Fights, you're the guest. You could start out. Which one of those do you think is more embarrassing to be caught doing? Dude, I think I got to go with the, with the 12 seed, with the saying someone's in there. It happened to me this past weekend. I didn't. I wasn't shitting. I was just taking a piss, but someone knocked on the door, and I was like, "What kind of fucking animal knocks on a door?" If it's just, locked, it's, somebody's it's, in, yes. in there. So one, they're, they're all that. one person. Just open it. Yeah. And you it, can't say it masculine. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I, I I protested. I did not reply. What's in here? I, 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 you could hit him with a. Oh not yet. Picado. <laughs> <laughs> Moment. I was like, he's not, or whoever it is, they're not going to kick down this door. So I'm just going to shut up and finish my piss and keep going. But. 
the fact that I I opted to not say anything would mean that saying something would be the more embarrassing. I usually I don't know if this counts towards it, but I usually hit whoever enters the room with the cough. Whenever they enter yeah. the room, so they oh. know someone's in here pooping. Yeah. Oh, uh, people <clears throat> at at this fucking office, I, I think are you, can, you guys aren't gonna believe this fucking animals. <laughs> like like when you hear someone walking into the bathroom, if you have the misfortune of having to shit in here mm. during the day, that's why I I stop actively shitting at that. Yes, point. Like, you someone, wait. Someone's yes. in here. I'll I'll just. Wait. Uh, Tommy no, does I, not. I keep Dude, shitting. No. Just fucking. They, they don't know who. They don't necessarily know it's me. You know, Tommy's. It doesn't matter. It's just the polite thing to do. You don't fucking open your asshole. I'm fucking when Tommy. In the room. They yeah, do yeah, know yeah. it's you because you I'm always say Tommy. smokes here. You, you, <laughs> I do do that quite you're, a bit. You're pushing still. I, well, if we're, I'm not. Yeah, come on. It's pooping. Who gives a fuck? I give a fuck. Clearly, I give a fuck. I'm not. No, I don't want you guys. Oh, oh, you're pissed. Someone shitting in the toilet. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Holding it is wild. <laughs> Holding your shit. Did I poop uh, in the bathroom. It's not, that I, it's not that I hold. I don't think I pinch. But like I'm I'm not pushing anymore. I'm not like I don't pinch. Not opening the I don't I don't, yeah. I don't push. I'm not yeah. like Ugh! like there are motherfuckers who will grunt in here. Yeah, that's no, annoying. The grunters yeah, no there grunts. are times where I don't do it. There are times where like I'm shitting next to another person shitting and the grunts are like, I wanna wait this month. <laughs> that just might be a guy that's <laughs> stuck. You know what? You know what's weird that's happened to me is that I've been in there going to the bathroom. And then someone else comes in and starts, and they start playing a clip of me on oh. their phone. <laughs> oh, They're like watching a clip of me on this show I, or something I think else. The clips in and of itself is weird. I'm like, just yeah. like have your headphones with you or something. Whenever I go into a room, unless I'm supposed to be on a microphone, I try and be invisible. I want to be as yep. little like I, I don't. Even, I don't want you to know there's anyone even in the stall. Just have your person get the fuck out of here. To just be like, yeah, I'm just chilling in here watching clips is weird. To have it happen where you're like, that's fucking me. I someone was like watching a clip of you while you were in there. Yeah. Did you say anything? You're like, no, I was Why kind of laughing. I was kind of flattered yeah. a little bit, but then I didn't want them to know that I was the person in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. So I thought they, they would be embarrassed, you. and then the fact that I, they would know that we were shitting. Yeah, and they imagine they're watching them, just go. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> they're just oh, commenting. This France sucks. is the worst edition of the show. <laughs> it's almost. I think I'd be more embarrassed though of like somebody walking in because shitting is so vulnerable. Yes, but also I was embarrassed once. I was in a uh, college and I had to shit bad. No, I had to piss, but the urinal was taken, and I knew the guy peeing, but I was trying to be cool, and I kicked in the door of the stall, and somebody was just shitting in there. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> my, my old job. You, you know what happened? I don't know how often you guys use this bathroom over here. Oh, yeah. Um, but the, yep. the, the the toilet to the left, the stall to the left, the keyhole is open. Yep. 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 Right? Try to avoid that one. I saw someone once plugged it up with toilet paper. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, what? Like, who do you think is coming in? Because like, they knew you were in there, Feidelberg. Hole, hole in probably... a bathroom stall. <laughs> <laughs> Holy comes. <through. laughs> if you don't work here, you don't know. There, there's enough metal in the way. You can't fit a penis through it. <laughs> but like, they had like around all the metal, like they had like plugged toilet paper. I'm like, dude, no one is. Like, what are you doing in there? That is so horrible. Horrible that. You think someone might catch a glimpse? Like, I, you have to bend down and actively try and look through that. You got to fucking block one eye and the whole thing to think that someone's going to come down. That would be like, funny. I don't like I when don't a stall has too much of a gap between the door. It's and the so door. ridiculous that. that there's there's space below in the crack mm -hmm. and the keyhole. It's too much space. I don't like that. There should be there. no way to see the person. But if if I was taking a shit and I look up and somebody's just I see an <laughs> eyeball, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> You're robbing yourself of joy by plugging up this hole. <laughs> it, it is about the most vulnerable you can get, though, because they instantly have like the height advantage, too. So they're looking down at you directly yeah. at everything going on. It is that is rough. My favorite thing to doodle in like high school and college was a anthropomorphic penis. So it was a dick with eyes and arms, but he was like in the shower. So he had a shower cap on his dickhead, but I thought the idea of a penis getting walked in on and not knowing what to cover, <laughs> like that. Um, I think you're, you're thinking of a, a, a sort of subplot of the movie Superbad. Yeah. No, I'm not. No, this is a, this is a, a no, that's penis that's the, embarrassed to be in the nude and doesn't know what to cover. This yeah. is a, a a character trait of a young uh, sort of Jonah Hill character in the movie Superbad. You're right. I stole it. Let's move on. <laughs> I know. I, I know, Nick. So <laughs> I'm on to you, Goose. So you're going with um, <laughs> saying someone's in here. Uh, Tommy. 
What was the, what is it again? What about getting is? caught trying to buy alcohol with uh, your ID from Hawaii? That's McLovin. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the most embarrassing thing in the world. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Anything to say, Ellis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. We all knew that. We we know that scene. Yeah. Sure, it's, there was no. Uh, no, let's say I used to draw dicks a lot, and that yeah. was. But I. You were the inspiration. Mine was like, no, mine was like a character, though, not just. Yeah, dicks. I, I, I know the scene in Superbad. I didn't think you were stealing. No, I, I, like, I think we all drew a lot of dicks. He took. He took it. <laughs> um, so it's that. It's going up against not understanding someone's accent and giving them. The, oh. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a rule with like the bathroom thing, where if I, especially in these bathrooms, if I open the stall, go to open the stall, and it's unlocked, and someone's in there, I don't apologize. Like that's your fault for not locking the stall. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. It's like instantly. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's like if you're in there, fucking lock the stall. Like, you I, know, I, one of my favorite, uh, the old Barcel HQ. Um, Nate didn't lock his. <laughs> you remember one of that? No, no, a different one. Oh, the uh, those were Nate, great pooping bathrooms. They were they were. Well, the problem is everybody knew you were pooping in there. If you yeah. were, yeah. yeah, yeah. But we all got over it because yeah. we were all close. Yeah. <laughs> got locked in there, and Willie had to break down the door in the in HQ two. Uh, Willie got locked in there, and he had broke really, it down. Willie broke it down. Broke it down. Head of sales, Jay Danny. Kool Aid man. <laughs> 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 But <laughs> <laughs> he did. Come on. <laughs> that was a bathroom. Now, like the guests even shared, like the guest, like because you you can have multiple people Back in there in. now. Reverse Kool Aid. Man. <laughs> Reverse Kool Aid man. Yeah. The uh, you Aid think cool. that like like guests just use the bathroom regularly now because there are multiple stalls and urinals just like that. But the only one, like we all kind of use the same thing. And Creed Bratton went to go take uh, whatever he had to do in the bathroom and just open the bathroom door and Nate was just in there <laughs> shit. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Like, oh, I thought you were, no, I, I thought that. for a second you were talking about uh, like something that happened in the office. Like, no, no, literally, no, no, no. You can understand the confusion when you said Nate. the office in Creed Bratton. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. Creed <laughs> he had not locked the door. Creed Bratton Brat walked it on Nate. <laughs> Creed <laughs> uh, Nate, I don't know what's <laughs> Nate go <laughs> Creed Bratton. Like, Creed that was, Bratton. That was, that was before, before like, emails used to go out with what guests were coming that day and whatnot. Yeah. Imagine you're just taking shit and Creed, Creed Bratton. Bratton. Wait, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? I, I wish. I oh my here. god. The noise. Creed Bratton. Oh. Did Nate take a shit? Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> As Jeffrey Star walks by, uh, the, I can't even imagine the no the squeal Nate must have made when that happened. <laughs> That's the perfect. Yeah. No better situation has oh. ever happened in the world. Nate. <laughs> yeah. If I was Nate, I would tell people that a lot. Yeah, That's yeah. Awesome. He doesn't. He doesn't that. hide from it, but it doesn't come up as often as it should. Way more often. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, I don't know I hate if it's like and I'm getting asked for directions and like I don't know how one time I literally walked this Spanish family just to the six train I just walked them like three blocks I was like I don't know how to convey this I'll just walk you to the train station <laughs> vamanos <laughs> yeah vamanos <laughs> um but it, yeah someone's in here because it's like just don't even ask me just see if the door is locked but then again like just don't ants I'm really struggling here I'll go with the foreign ship the foreign thing, I actually think that I, uh, that's not embarrassing to me because I think I've gotten so good at it, at like reading body language of foreigners. Uh, and I think it's because my grandfather didn't speak English, despite the fact that he was American. Uh, but he just, what? He just like, grumbled so much. Like, oh, okay. He stand him. And <laughs> like, I learned like when to laugh and stuff like that. I, I, I put myself up there against just about anybody. I can understand someone not speak. I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, though, the someone in your thing is avoidable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think I say, I'm not going to say someone's in here. I'm just going to stay silent and they'll be able to tell by the locked door that Coward. it's in use. I also don't like or someone coward. jingling the door. I like just get, I like the cough. You just give them a cough. Everyone knows you're there. You announced your presence. And no one, it's, it's Eunice. It's like you can't tell who the cough is unless you have That's a very true. distinct right, cough. I'm switching to the bathroom one. I'm switching to the switching bathroom, to the bathroom one. one. KB. This is the language one by far. I think that's so painful to have to say what, 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 and then make an incorrect response when you uh, finally do answer. You're the reason I submitted this because you're horrible. This, is, this happens to me once a week. You can't understand when somebody is just like slightly congested, let alone an <laughs> right. accent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I told this story before, but I, when I used to work at GNC, this, this woman came up. Uh, she was Hispanic. I didn't speak any Spanish. She had a huge belly, disproportionately large belly. Like rest of her arms, legs, everything else skinny. Huge belly. Yeah. And she comes up and she's like, I can't understand exactly what she's asking me for. So I lead her to prenatals. And she just goes, no pregnant. Oh. And just walked out with the most pissed human being alive. 
And I just, I couldn't even know what to do. You can't be the girl with the big fucking belly. (laughs) Expect (laughs) people to not think. Dude, it was so. You can't have a disproportionately big belly. If you're, if you're not going to just admit that you're the pregnant. It was so round too. And her arms were so small. Like, I don't know. I don't know how pregnant women work. Uh, Francis. Sounds like she might've just been a velociraptor. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I, I have two thoughts about this. So as, as a quick aside, I was just in Texas and at my hotel, I was staying for a couple nights, so the, a woman came to the housekeeping, came oh. and knocked on the door at like 10 or 11 a.m. And I was up, but I was just, I hadn't left yet. And uh, I opened the door and I said, hey, can I just have five minutes? And she goes, uh, no, no English. And I said, cinco minuto. And she goes, oh, okay. <laughs> and it's like, if I can do cinco minuto, <laughs> then you should have five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. work here. <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, learn English or anything like that. But if I can come that across the aisle the, to, to cinco minuto, then you can probably come across the river to <laughs> five minutes. Gee, good choice. Good, great, good great metaphor analogy. there. Am I wrong? <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. What river? River. Are they coming across, Francis? <laughs> One where you hold your suitcase over your head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, so that was funny. And then the the other t- on top, this you know my the, my take is with Kyle, which is so often when you are listening to someone with like a strong accent try to speak English, it, it it's the double issue of like you nobody wants to get what someone's saying wrong, but you feel weirdly culturally insensitive yeah. Yeah. by by not understanding it wow. as though you're like inherently telling them yeah. you don't speak the language well enough for me to understand it a native right. speaker yeah. and and I'm you, no matter how hard you try it just doesn't matter sometimes and I, I, I feel bad especially as someone who like if you tra- ever traveled to another country and you've learned a couple languages from a guidebook to ask for directions in that place and you fumbled that yourself. You feel putting yourself out there in that language is tough. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you're already lost. So uh, it's the language one for me. Two to two. Nick. Good argument. Yeah. I'm not a public shitter. Uh, don't I don't shit in public restrooms unless it's a real, real emergency. Uh, and then if that's the case, I can get in and out pretty quickly. Uh, the issue with the bathroom here, this is the shitting bathroom yes. in this office. The toilet is right in front of the door. Yeah. And it's far away, so you can't even, like, if somebody's opening it. Because that lock is also... I don't trust it. I don't trust you that. use that? I never I don't, shit in there. I never. Where do you, you don't shit in the, the solo bathroom? Tommy shits in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah every out. day. Because I know that lock's all fucky. I shit in there every day. That's the really? only toilet I poop in now. I feel like that's and like also, the most I know obvious, it's oh, he's pooping. Toilet. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't shit in the shitting toilet. Mm. Well, every awesome. toilet is the shitty toilet. But I feel I would feel very time pressed if like because like other people could come knock and it's like they're just gonna wait out, wait you out 10, 15 minutes and you come out and they know you were shitting in there. I, I have like I feel like I'm anonymous when I'm shitting in the other bathroom. Yep. There's always somebody else. Those are always filled with yeah. shitters. That's like a Stark in Winterfell. It's always there's always somebody there. I know. I just that's not my <laughs> name. I just watched Game of Thrones for the first time. Oh good, I like that. I'm trying to be topical. Um, <laughs> but with that being said, I feel so guilty when somebody is like trying to speak to me with an accent and I can't get it because usually when they're talking to you it's for help mm-hmm. um, I'm going accent accent you know what I hate about that bathroom too uh, and this is for people not listening that one has like a shower in it and people leave the shower curtain closed and I'm like someone's hiding here but he's behind there <laughs> every single time I walk in that bathroom I open it up and I'm just half expecting someone to come out I can't believe you would do that what, what just to be sure no one's hiding I'd rather not know if I go let them live in the hiding <laughs> I'm just a power, especially because of what happens during the yak. I'm just like someone's waiting there for. Nobody's waiting, but yeah, so you catch poop. me pooping, and I don't want anyone to catch me yeah. pooping. Um, che, uh, accents for sure. I, I think because with the bathroom, there's a clear next step. It's like you say that the thing's over. With the accent, it's like you now have to figure out a way back to find a conclusion with this person that's asking you something in a language you do not understand. So I'm going to go accent. Mm -hmm. The one thing accents have going for them is that they're hilarious when people (laughs) have them. And you could try to replicate it to your friends. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. If anyone has a really good one right now, make sure you... you Tommy does tribesmen well. Do. Nope. <laughs> Thought about it. <laughs> Not against it. You showed us that video once where you where you smoked yourself into a coma until you became Indian. That was Kyle. Uh, that was, what? No, that, oh, was, that was, was me. You? Oh yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah. say I, got, I got so never much happened to me, never I, will. Uh, started making a selfie video where I was like, I got, "Can I do?" I was. Do you have the was, video? You can always delete it. Yeah, I was like, "Oh yeah, you are way too high right now." But I wasn't <laughs> trying to be Indian. I was just like, "This is very bad." Like you are like, way too high. It's like speaking very slowly, and it just the way your pitch changed. Like it just. Yeah, it was you still have the video? I do. We played it on this. Played it. Oh God. Okay. Cool. No, it does. It doesn't actually sound like he's, but it does at the same. Time. I'm not doing an Indian accent. Yeah. I'm just speaking weird because I'm high, and it happens to sound like an Indian. Yeah, accent. sure. Uh, all right. Next matchup: four seed versus thirteen. Four seed is getting caught taking a photo or a video of someone. Oh, is, oh that's good. Oh man, yeah. really good one. Uh, versus the thirteen seed, uh, playing something. And this is your Tommy's. I think yours. Uh, playing something off your phone or laptop when you think headphones are in, but they aren't. Yep. And I think when you figure it out too late, too, that makes it way, way worse. Uh, this was the number oh, one of the first things that came to mind. It shouldn't be embarrassing, but oh, like we're talking about on the like if you're on a train or public transportation and. I don't know. You think it's connected, uh, especially if it's a video of yourself, uh, which I'm usually watching. But, uh, <laughs> uh, it does hurt. All right. Uh, Che, you're up first. It used to happen all the time when I worked upstairs when I would have my headphones in and then I have to go to a meeting or something like that. I'd be listening to Spotify or a podcast or something like that. And then you take your computer off to go to a meeting and then it's just blaring out loud. Uh, mm, and sorry, what was the other choice? Um, it is getting caught taking a photo or video of someone. Yeah, getting caught taking a photo or video of someone's just like instant mortification. I wouldn't even say that's like embarrassment just because, you know, uh, you then have to. How often are you? You would just say it's a synonym for it? A worse synonym, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're, we're amping it up. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I would say take from Francis. Hold on to it. I had the exact same thought that John did. <laughs> Why is mortified not embarrassment? It is. It's right. it's a stage. You said I wouldn't even say that that's embarrassing. I'd say it's mortified. You think, you think it's a level they are I'm taking it a higher yeah. level. You'd go I, one further. It's not good. It's great. Do you think mortified is worse than embarrassed? Yeah, it I, think sounds, I, agree. I think you. The way you phrased that made me think you thought they were different things. Was no. a no. and mortified no. can mean <laughs> it does. Scared. Oh come on! Yeah, but that, I think that's what makes it more worse than embarrassing, right? Is like that because embarrassed you're just embarrassed, but like I'm afraid when I'm mortified. It's the root word mort, which means dead. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was good. Good job, guys. I'm sticking. I'm sticking with John on this one. <laughs> Jay was wrong. I, I see what you're saying. I, I'm, I'm with. I, I'm I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll take my credit. I'll take my uh, my lashes. I um. I wasn't paying full attention. I thought you were saying it was lesser. If oh, it's no. more than, yeah, we're okay. So you actually got caught taking a photo of Stephen Je Stephen Tyler. Yes, he yes. You in the face in the chest. Right? Yes, that was a cool story, just because he was. I mean, he's like a superstar, a world famous superstar. But yeah, if it's especially like with a friend or something like that, and you're doing something sneaky to send to other friends or something like that, that's very embarrassing. Yeah, but I feel like if you're doing that, it's not that embarrassing. If like you're taking a video of your friend sleeping or something and they wake up, I'm not embarrassed. Like how often strangers taking, is where it's, I think yeah, how often you're taking videos of strangers. Yeah. Yeah. There's this Strange. picture. I think it started on 4chan. Maybe it was a guy who took a picture of the actress, Chloe Grace Moretz yeah. with his flash on accidentally. Yeah. And it's the cringiest photo of all time. <laughs> She's it's real bad. And he like didn't realize that it was weird. Uh, it was, a, it's a whole thing. <sighs> yeah. That's, I think strangers on the subway, I think is where it, it, it comes worse. And I think, but if it has it ever happened to you guys? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone's taking a picture of us. Well, oh, I didn't even think because we work at Barstow. I thought because like we were just wearing something dumb. Wearing something. <laughs> it did not cross my mind once that it would be like just somebody that listened to the show. Yeah. Todd <laughs> told me a really sad story once about how he was uh, on the subway and someone took a picture of him. Middleburg? Za. Oh, oh Za. Za. <laughs> and, and not because he knew him, but just because, you know, Za's a little person. And he, Za said something like, you know, you could just ask permission or something like that, which I thought was such a graceful way yeah. for him to handle like that now mortified i would say yeah. with that i would definitely be mortified uh so you're going with nick uh what was the what's it up against uh taking photos of someone or um playing something where you think you think your headphones are in oh that sucks but my music is just so <laughs> cringy uh music Bob the builder <laughs> oh, no, just instrumental. Bad. yeah uh francis yeah, these two. I, I don't know if ever. I don't know if either of these things has happened to me. I'm not really sure. Um, so I guess I'm just saying is probably worse to be caught taking a picture of somebody. Mm. I'll go with that one. I took a video in the subway of a homeless guy jerking off, and he gave me a thumbs up. I was about to say it's it's so bad for me that I 
got caught by I was filming a guy taking a shit, a homeless guy on the street, and he caught me, and I was still mortified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh-huh. this one is good. Yeah. Uh, Should apologize. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. You're right. No, no I'm wrong here. Made you invade your privacy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so sorry, Francis. Which one did you pick? Uh, I said the picture one. Yeah, the picture one. Uh, KB. For, yeah, the picture one. The picture one. I'm going headphones on. It'll happen at, at my desk sometimes. I'm listening. To oh, I hate fly, it. And I'll just be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a fucking loser. I'm pathetic. Well, what would happen to me? And you were the only other person in the office. And you just look at me. And you just go, oopsie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's oh, just I, oopsie. You got, makes everything worse. <laughs> <laughs> but you got caught listening to a song. Yeah. Right? Imagine if you got caught awesome. taking a picture of someone. Yeah. I just don't feel like I take that many pictures. I don't think it happens strange. enough. Happened to me more when I didn't work here. It's even embarrassing when someone catches you like doing a Snapchat story. <laughs> or an like, well, I'll, yeah. Oh, a selfie. That's selfie embarrassing. If someone, like, I'll sometimes want to make like a TikTok where I'm walking and I'm just like talking into the camera. And I feel like if someone sees that, I pretend like I'm on a phone call yeah, because yeah. that's yeah. somehow less embarrassing than yeah. like making a video. Uh, fights. I think it's it's the picture. I think that's mortifying. Um, the it, it, it is. You were saying it have. I, I did it a lot more before. Like. Because like when, once you have like a following, it's kind of people are like, oh, you're an asshole or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like if you're just texting it to your friends, you're like, hey, look at this fucking asshole on the train. It's more fun. Whereas mm-hmm. it, you're always going to have someone, you know, it, it starts a fucking war immediately. Um, so I don't really do it as often anymore. But you, particularly if you have the flash on or something like that and you kind of try to quickly put it down. Um, I, I like Francis and I think like someone else. I, I don't think I've ever had my... Blue to my phone, not connected to my headphones. I think it's it, like, it. It's never happened in a situation that I remember every little misstep in my life, and that one, <laughs> I've never had it happen to an extent where it stuck with me. Oh, like what a, your own podcast would Ooh, be. That oh, be oh man, that'd be oh, bad. that is true. I, I I actually do get really embarrassed. Uh, it, it's not a, a Bluetooth situation, but it's just like if I didn't know the mute is on or whatever, and I opened, even it could be any video at all. It doesn't have to be one of mine, but just any video, I'm very quickly like, oh, never mind, close that. Mm. Um, but that's not, I don't really think really the same thing. Well, taking the photo is going to move on. Next up, we have the eight versus the nine. The eight, <laughs> I like this one a lot. Uh, when you laugh at a joke and you get called out for not getting the joke. <laughs> yeah. I like that one a lot. Uh, for, first off, fuck the call out guy. The call out yeah, guy's yeah, there. Yeah. Call out guy sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you did that. Not long ago. Who did I get? Kyle did. Me? Yeah, to oh. Marty Mush. He was sitting right there, and it was very funny. I don't think I did. Um, oh, I do remember this. It was on this show, Yeah, and it was very funny. Something about a word thing. Oh, I think it was a Oh, we were laughing at anecdote, anecdote. Tommy, Tommy had oh. said, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's the most embarrassing oh. thing. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I forgot about oh, yeah. that. Uh, Thanks for reminding me. Antidote and anecdote. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, it was really funny. I, I wouldn't have said it was yeah. like a fuck the call out guy. Moment. You also made a reference yeah. to Marty Mush about reskinning something. And I was like, you think Marty Mush knows what reskinning means? And Marty's like, yeah, I didn't. I just laughed and agreed with you. What's uh, reskinning? Yeah. What? Yeah, what is reskinning? Yeah, it's like we're, t- we're. Paint job. Yeah, it's like a new paint job. Yeah. Like you're going to take something and just reskin it to be something else. Yeah. That's a sound like it's a very, it sounds bad. Yeah, if I you guess. don't know the, like, I guess the context of it, um, but yeah, that's going up against the number nine seed, getting called out for pretending to know someone. This is yours. Yeah. Ooh, that is. Oof. Yeah. Does it's, this happen to you? Pretend, bro. I pretend to know people every single day. <laughs> like, or what about someone's like, "What's my?" Yeah. What do you? Or, or, or yeah, hey, like, what's up? Or you say you know someone. There, you're like, "That's a friend, good friend of mine." And the person that you're talking to is better friends, and yep. you're actually not that oh, close. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is happening. You're just yeah. name dropping, and then they figure out or they call you on it. Yeah. 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 The I, I, it could be any kind of a. I mean, it happens to us a lot. I think where like people are like oh I've met you before actually yeah I met you at blank and I'm like yeah 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 like remember what I said I'm like yeah yeah definitely and like and I'm like no I was lying dude I, I don't remember what you fucking said like it was yeah the easy Michael Rappaport <laughs> no, I'm just kidding <laughs> you're just saying like why don't you tell your friends how much they love them know what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves saying, talking to his. I'm fans. saying I have a bad memory. I, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just fucking needling. Yeah. And, <laughs> Tommy, that <laughs> was <laughs> tough, tough moment there. <laughs> that, was tough. that might be Ooh, up there. Jeez, uh, that was. Yeah, that was nobody got the reference. Obviously, yeah. it was a too highbrow of humor. Too highbrow of humor. <laughs> tough moment. Um, 
Yeah, I, so mine would Talking be... Talking fans is a perfect reference. Anyway, just keep going. <laughs> the uh, What was the other one? Uh, not getting the joke and getting called out on it. I, I just got that one. Um, since I didn't just get Tommy's joke, I'm going with not getting nobody the joke. Did, so. not Even though it. it's clearly the other one. I would almost put it, nobody getting your obvious great <laughs> reference joke. Ooh. Yeah, people not getting your joke might actually be... I don't think I have that on this list, but I'm going to have to add it into the chain. I actually, you know, this, and maybe Francis can speak to this since he's a comedian. I think that the phrase, like, uh, oh, you know, it's a good joke if you have to explain it, the sarcastic phrase. I don't believe in that. I agree. I, agree. I think I think some of the funniest jokes have had to be explained to me. Mm. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's actually really yeah, good. I didn't even get yeah. it. Some of the best laughs I've had have been time bomb laughs, where it's like, you're like, huh, and then you, it clicks after like a second. Mm -hmm. and like once the click happens, that laugh is way louder than it would be, I think, if it was instant. Yeah, I, I agree with all of that. And I also think that a really great joke can be interpreted multiple ways by different people. Mm. Like a piece of modern art. Mm -hmm. and that It's for, perfectly fine for four different people in the audience to laugh for four different reasons. Yep, mm -hmm. That's the difference between art and design, Francis. Art yeah. can have multiple meanings. Design should have one. Interesting. Hmm. I didn't know that. that. BFA. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Captain <laughs> fucking ass. Big fucking ass. <laughs> Captain Architectural Digest over here. Uh Tommy. Um not getting the joke or pretending to know someone. I mean, if you get called out for not knowing the joke, you it's like I, I would just spin it like fuck you, asshole. Uh but that would I'll go with the the knowing one. Getting mm -hmm. called out on that's rough. Yeah, yeah. Fake laughing is you're just being respectful, but right. but pretending to know someone to seem more popular and knowing cooler, their existence. What? And not, and someone pretending not to be existence. cool with someone or uh, what? What is the situation here? So let's say you act, you met Kenny Pickett once at a club in Scottsdale, <laughs> and he followed you on Twitter, and then you tell your friends that he's yes, a boy. I've done this, and then they're just like, no, he's not. <laughs> yeah. uh, like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I was thinking of it in two ways. I was thinking of it like you just like just, like let's say it's a third floor person here or something, and you don't know their name. And they yep. come up to you like, "Hey, what's up, Francis?" And you're just like, uh, "Yeah, what's up, man?" And you're, what's up, dude? Because you don't know their name. I'm thinking like that. It's why I've adopted that. That example is exactly why I've adopted. I don't say nice to meet you anymore. Mm. I say nice to see you. To absolutely, yeah, yeah, that's good. Mm. Because there's people like, we've met. Well, don't don't oh, that's the, say that. Is this if this is under that category? Than that, I go with ah uh, you again. Yeah. If it's the first time, that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so it's either funny or right. Yeah. I saw there was like some tweet where it's like every time I meet a new person, I say, "Oh, is that a new shirt?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, Francis. So uh, if we're allowed to sort of massage the knowing the person one a little bit, because I think that for me it it, it is more the case of name dropping and then being put in your place for not knowing that person as well. Um, which by the way, I, I think I used to do more and then it happened enough times <laughs> where I just had to stop because <laughs> it was getting too dangerous and too embarrassing for me to be like, Oh, that guy's, well, yeah, I me, mean, we're, we're tight. We're always one of my best friends. Your field in particular, it's like rather vague. We're like you've hung out in a green room a few times. Like, yeah, I know, and we're buddies. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, then, then you know he's in town right now, and I'm like, yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, having tough. breakfast with him tomorrow. And they're like, well, that's interesting because I'm having breakfast with him tomorrow. <laughs> then you're like, ah, fuck. Um, so it, for if if we if we can stretch it to include that, it, it's going to be that one for me. Getting to know someone, Nick. Can we also just take a second to appreciate Francis's asshole? Because before you put your hand there, I could pretty much see it. Your whole butthole? <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. Hey, I'll take it more than a, yeah, I'll take a in my pants. I, I like those pants. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why Che had to do that. <laughs> Plenty of attention. <laughs> sad. Uh, Nick. Um, my issue is my threshold for boy or buddy is very low. Mm -hmm. I'll meet you one time, buddy. Yep. Everybody in here's my buddy. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially you. Uh, so I, I would, if I meet somebody a couple times, or I've like meet them one night, but we have a fun night, drinks, get a little loose. Uh, that's my, that's my buddy. Um, that may not be the case for them, you know. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. 
Mm-hmm. Fun fact, I've never referred to anyone as my buddy. I don't know why. It just doesn't feel natural really? when I do You've it. never had it a makes friend. Sense. No, I say my friend. I say never my friend. said we're buddies. I'll never say like, oh, yeah, that's my, bu-, you know, my buddy, Mike. Like, I, I He's don't. a buddy of I mine. I didn't know people you never said, said that, that until Barstool. I've never heard really? that. I've never heard like, oh, my buddies. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a big, huge I'm a buddy. buddy. Is that like Boston? I think that's Boston. Looking at the number one buddy guys coming up. Yeah. That's my good buddy. I say that's my good buddy all the time. I don't feel like it suits me. I yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Jay is a big buddy guy. Not to be confused with Buddy Guy, yeah. the famed <laughs> uh, jazz and funk guitarist. Mm-hmm. Good friend of mine. Making that up, but I think that could buddy be. Buddy Guy's correct. Yeah. His name no, is Buddy Guy. Person, sounds like it would be a jazz be funk with my yeah. bass teacher, Bobby Guy. Ooh, or the punter. <laughs> I don't think anybody was confusing Bobby and Buddy Guy. Hmm. I was. I was a little. I'm glad you cleared it up. What's your issue with that? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of tension <laughs> yeah. between you two today. Yeah. Did you guys ever know anyone named Guy? Like their first name was Guy? Yes. There was I, one at St. Vincent's, I think. Guy yeah, there the, was. I knew Guy a guy named Guy Ferrari, not to be confused with Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was also Guy Smiley the Muppet, but I never knew him. Mm. Was uh, it guy, guy Smiley a Muppet? He was a. He was like a. Name. What's beyond tertiary, Francis? What's that fourth level? Oh gosh, fiduciary. No. <laughs> uh, so ter- I don't know. I actually wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, I do. No, I'm just. I wish I did. <laughs> tertiary is is uh, anything beyond three. Okay. I yeah. don't know. I don't. I don't know. What's the quad? Or- That's what we're trying to figure out. Uh, anyway, in the meantime, Che. Uh, definitely not knowing someone's name. I was in a situation with someone from upstairs when I worked up there and we were talking to, I'll just call him out cause it's funny. It's Smitty and brought this person down and we need to give him cop, uh, like specific talking points for this ad that he had to do and, uh, take her down. She's like, Hey, whatever. And then he's like, Oh, Hey Adam. And, um, she's like, Oh, like we know each other. Like we've we went to a Phillies game together. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Was your hair different or something like that? And uh, that was one of the more embarrassing moments I've ever seen. So uh, I, I would have to say not knowing someone's name. So I like the was your hair different out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but wouldn't you know, my face was exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. Have you lost a lot of weight? <laughs> She actually gained weight. Uh, I like that. That's a good. That's a good ad. I'm gonna say you could let it slide if it's like a quaternary friend. Yeah, um, <laughs> quaternary <laughs> like that. Uh, all right, now we have the one seed versus the sixteen seed. We have two chains today because um, there's a lot of good options. Uh, we'll do the first one. It is. Well, let's start. <laughs> this is yours, Nick. I like the story, the Yu-Gi-Oh story. You could just tell it. Mm. Uh, it didn't happen to me. It happened to my boy Woody Pond. Good guy. Uh, he decided not. Fun. That sounds like a jazz funk guy too. His real name's Elijah. His dad's like a park ranger. Oh, his dad's a bug guy. Uh, what's a bug guy? Um, but yeah, bugologist. Bug guy. Yeah. Um, Woody decided not to go out to the bars one night not, to play Yu Gi Oh with his friend that was visiting Squ- Swaggy Vyers, mm-hmm. and they were playing Yu Gi Oh. And my other boy Nico went out and brought like five girls back to like drink at the place. He was like, "I have roommates come through," and these five girls caught Woody playing Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> and I himself no against this other guy Alex and the the kid Alex doesn't feel shame but Woody did so he like got up and like pushed the cards away and they were like hey what are you guys doing and Woody's like nothing and then the other kid Alex is just like I'm winning <laughs> <laughs> and he, it, it's unbelievable Yo is I it's it's like a magic type thing come on so come on yeah. what a very very different um <laughs> You know, you summon monsters. Each 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 person has what three thousand life points? Eight thousand life points? Eight thousand. Jason's I, giving I us forgot. the symbol. Yeah, would have been worse if they were actually having they had the toy accessory on the arm. You oh, know, the some dual people had disc. that. Yes, the dual disc. That would have been really bad. Um, that sounds exactly like Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. You're a wizard, and you you offer mana. You offer land to these beasts to come. These this one is uh you summon beasts. Okay. Let's say it's closer so it's to the, Pokemon. So it's the exact opposite. No, because Pokemon you capture the monsters and they're real. Uh, it's it's always been like a digital type world in Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, I think, I think for a low level explanation, it's like magic works. You're going to get destroyed. On <laughs> Just wait until the Reddit's here about Nick, this. Was Pokemon Go, like the best month of your life. I st- I still play a lot. He's <laughs> an active user. I was just. It's a. There's an event going on right now. It's still going. It makes more money than it ever has. Wow. Still I'm a level going. 41. To <laughs> <Yeah>. You're off. <laughs> um, the next is this is one of yours fights, and uh, I don't. 
I want some more explanation on it, I guess. Uh, bettering yourself, which is kind of... <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Being bettering healthy. Bettering yourself is crazy. Especially man. with somebody with like a ton of vices. <laughs> bettering yourself, also learning and shit. Yeah. If, if you're... Like if if you're bettering yourself, I, I'm gonna I, I send in some other ones I think didn't make it, but like if you're bettering yourself in any fashion, be it you're eating healthy, you're not drinking as much, you're not doing drugs anymore, you're learning, you're you're an adult going back to college, all of that is super embarrassing. <laughs> like yeah, I I, I vividly remember <clears throat> back at old the old HQ again, people would stand up and announce to the office like, does anyone have any Adderall on them? And I would duck under my desk to take my daily multivitamin. Like I was, <laughs> I was terrified that someone might see me trying to be remotely healthy. Mm. I think, I think if you're if you're working on improving yourself at all, it's very embarrassing. You did just say on the run down though. You went out of your way to say that you read 13 pages. I did. I'm trying to better myself. Good. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of it before someone catches me. Does with the bettering ball. yourself also count as like revamping the wardrobe? Like I hate wearing new shoes in. Yeah. I dread that. Yeah, but we're, we're starting to like, like, well, that's not a shirt you usually wear. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to expand my horizons. You're exercise. You started exercising. You're like, oh, you work out now. Like, that telling your friends any of that that you're trying no, to be getting someone being like, are you working out? Is a great feeling. That's not bad. No, mm -hmm. it, that's that's if you're. I, no, I I disagree. That's maybe your own brain. You should be embarrassed. <laughs> you should be embarrassed if you're in the gym. The coolest thing to do is remain the same after you turn. 28. Yeah, no growth. Yep. No right. growth. What if well, I you've got just been better than everyone all along? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, great question. that's fine. Stay you're, there, but you don't right. need to tell people about it. That's fantastic. That's you're you're fine there. Right. If if you actively need to clean it up and you start cleaning it up, and telling people very even you just no. I think I think telling people is actually less embarrassing than getting caught doing it. Like if you're a fat guy and it's like, whoa, we had a salad today. You're like, oh yeah, no, yeah. Uh, they fucked up my order. Uh, so bettering yourself, one of the yeah. most embarrassing things you can do, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I made a commitment to better myself, uh, but I couldn't tell anyone because the umbilical cord was still attached <laughs> to my mouth. <laughs> I was in the womb yeah. when I started reading and learning. <laughs> I thought an umbilical cord connects to the mouth. Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> I've been, re been reading more. <laughs> you confuse that with the, the Matrix. Matrix. Pod. It was the <laughs> ah, there you go. It was the Matrix. Friends again. Friends again. <laughs> Absolutely right. I thought you I were. Knew it was. The <laughs> Dude, I thought I you were making the a joke. This is a testament. <laughs> you guys missed how you didn't get the movie. reference. Laughed anyway. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> oh, spooky! Uh, oh, Francis, a testament to your uh, intelligence is that I assumed you were making a joke that went over my head, and I was like, he he knows where the umbilical cord connects. No, I was truly <laughs> thinking. I was truly thinking the umbilical cord was uh, attached to the mouth, and I was thinking, and it was because I was picturing those kids that are grown as pods in the Matrix, Matrix. <laughs> eating tube, yeah, just got sucked out of their tube. Yeah, yeah. so scary. Oh. Yeah. Uh, scary. Next up was getting caught wearing the same outfit multiple days in a row uh that's a high school thing um getting caught singing in the mirror using a hairbrush as a microphone that was yours did that happen to you no i caught jeff d low singing i kissed a girl at the jersey shore <laughs> blow drying his hair oh, uh, uh, using one of those round brushes as the microphone no <laughs> dyson air wrap <laughs> jesus uh <laughs> Uh, singing or dancing with yourself in general also was on here, but it's the same thing. Uh, this is a good one. Getting caught liking horny posts. There are certain, there's two different types of people with this. There's the ones who do get embarrassed and some that don't care. You like, work with some shameless fella. <laughs> oh my God. Meek Phil here. Meek Phil. Meek Phil. <laughs> Does not give a fuck. These guys are retweeting the like girls <laughs> selfies. <laughs> like what is that going to accomplish? <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, we, we have one that I don't think we've ever even brought up with one of our producers on KFC radio and of out of order uh pavs pavs liked a tweet where it was like it was like oh, no. it was like you know he's about to eat your pussy good if his legs are like this and it was like like his legs <laughs> up like this oh what <laughs> oh <laughs> there used to be this twitter account uh sexual, sexual gifts. gifts oh yeah and one of my oh, friends yeah. would just like all those tweets and we're like we sat him there like what are you getting out of liking, liking yeah <laughs> like if you want to like Save Literally. it to jerk off. Like, just go to the page or something. Like, what are you getting out of liking? Yeah, like, I'll see one of my boys liking, like, 
Megan the Stallion's picture. Yeah. What is that doing? Yeah. What does that do for you? <laughs> Hit the like button with the tip of your dude, cock. <laughs> dude, there was I have to say that in Dave's recent thing where he got, you know, the whole shit storm over the uh the girl with the, mm-hmm. the, the uh, doing the shit talking. Kendra Lust, the porn star, replied and said something like, you know, I don't know, negative about Dave. And then I looked in the mentions and replies to her tweet, and it was just like hundreds of dudes being like, I stand with you, Kendra. Yep. <laughs> it's like, give me a fucking break, dude. You're siding with her on this social commentary. Really? Dude, I don't even I get, look to. I don't even get the point of liking pictures like yes. on Instagram. Oh, I, I, if it's I'll a like girl it. that's getting like five hundred thousand likes. What what are you doing? Oh yeah, oh, I don't like. Yeah. I like my boys' posts. Yeah, I like, I like my boys' posts. I, I like I like the girls. The I'd like to pursue. I'll throw, I'll toss them a like. Who's like the sexiest woman out right now? I don't know. In the world, uh, there is so no. She was a, big, a few I years mean, ago. Emily, El- mine, Emily Elizabeth. Right Who's like the new hot one? Emily Elizabeth is great. She just got engaged. She does I post know. pictures sometimes. Where I just it takes my breath away. I have to like it. It's like just out of famous. So you do this, but rarely. No, it takes I'm saying your like, breath away. Takes my- that's your only step. Yeah, that's the only caveat. That's more embarrassing. You can't breathe. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I won't do it unless away. my breath is taken away. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's just, it's just, like, oh, <laughs> not even. Rips out his like, you guys, I don't even get horny. I'm just like, what an what an amazing looking human being. I have to <laughs> take a second to pay my respect. Okay, you get <laughs> if you get over. Like, I do that. Very, I could probably single digits. I've done that to a girl who doesn't follow me. Okay, if the girl follows you, then that's I think totally fine. It's like their pictures. If the girl that doesn't follow you, I think that's weird. I think they all start to blend together at this point. Yeah, and they all kind of look the uh, same. She stands Inst- out. Instagram ruined like the it girl, where yeah. it is yeah. like there yeah. used to be like there was. I think Megan Fox is probably like, the last one, like her on the F. Kate Upton. Yeah, I feel like no, Upton I've, had it. Yeah, Upton had it. Yeah. Yeah. it was was Alba, Alba, video. Upton. Alba was before Radikowski was there. Radikowski was there. I think Radikowski was Radikowski ever? He was definitely yeah. 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 music video. Oh yeah, but Thousands. she was like, she was, she was like, but she was already like an Instagram it girl, like, and I'm sure she does magazines and things like that. But I like, think, she was like the she only. Did, one. She did the Cat Gaddy video. Yeah, and everyone went ballistic over that. Yeah, that I think was I was the last time. Yeah. The I, I'm basically if you get over like a hundred likes on a picture. Unless you're my friend, I don't like it. Like mm-hmm. people who just like, or you're Vin Diesel. I like Vin. I share everything. Vin Diesel posts. <laughs> <laughs> I put that on my story. I'm like, Vin's back at it, baby. Try to think of what's better or worse because there's also guys that follow um, all the Instagram girl accounts, which is uh, Glenny. Uh, Gl- yeah, you, seen, that's for work. You look at any hot girl, it's followed by Glenny and Riggs. That's how you know they're hot. It's like the barometer of if it's an attractive woman. Um, but I don't think that's as bad as the liking. I think the liking's worse. Uh, so after that, we have going. <laughs> you added this last second chain. It's very funny to imagine <laughs> going back down the ladder on the high diving board because you're. Oh, oh, hey, oh, great hey. way! Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh good. That yeah. or the water slide steps. <laughs> yep. Steps yeah. of the water slide. Oh, I've done it. Past oh, I've done it. Oh, good. Some of them are like ten stories. You make it to the top, and then you're just walking past kids so much younger than you. <laughs> yeah. That's an amazing. <laughs> oh, Jay. Winner, dude, dude. It's yeah. so good. The second oh. you said it, I, I could not have written it down faster. It was yeah. so good. Malcolm in the Middle crushed that scene he so did. well. I think I ever saw that one. Yeah, he gets up. It's like his thing. He has to conquer there at the water park. That episode was so good. Mm. Did you ever do uh what was the big one at Echo Va- Oh, uh the cliff diver? diver. Never did cliff diver. Too scared. Dude, you go Never even those steps. You've done it a few times. up through. stairs. Oh, I, I've like jumped off cliffs. It sounds like you're no, 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 no. This is a ride. Oh. This, this is a ride. It's like a, yeah. a very narrow water slide. The slide that it's like you're up like thirty stories in the air and it just drops you straight yeah. down. Way too like, scared. You for that. separate from the slide as you're falling. It's very <laughs> scary. <laughs> That one's never bad. did it. Never the did stairs it. going up there, the stairs sway, the wooden stairs. It's very. We had it. We Echo Pond Valley Pool or something. It was a big birthday spot on Long Island, and there was a high dive there a lot of times where kids would get up there and they would just tuck tail and, and walk. It's even worse because like, <laughs> I probably did it once, to be honest. The ladder would be worse because like it's single file. You can't even oh, squeeze yeah. by. Like it's the stairs. Ooh. Kyle did it on the low dive of our. <laughs> I was in seventh grade. You were sixth grade school picnic. No, but this is I um in sixth grade. Yeah. I did this at the go kart track because I was the only one on my baseball team, including their little brothers and sisters, that wasn't tall enough. So you had to <laughs> lead that walk of shame. Oh, that's <laughs> no. That might make it worse, actually. Uh, we'll go through the full list again uh, for this chain game. Uh, the the Yu Gi Oh scenario, which is very embarrassing. That doesn't need to be uh, in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, bettering yourself, <laughs> getting caught wearing the same outfit multiple days in a row. 
uh, singing or dancing with yourself, liking horny posts, or going back down the ladder. I feel like it's just going to be going back down the it ladder. It is a bloodbath. Yeah. So it is a bloodbath. So back down, down the ladder. I want to look at like a compilation of kids, yes, kids going <laughs> back down the ladder. Wearing your shirt the same day in a row. In high school, we had this. I went to like a school where you had to wear like a blazer and a tie and shit like that. But you could, there was a dress code, but it wasn't uniform. And a kid at the school, it was a boarding school, so you couldn't like, your parents weren't doing your laundry or anything like that. And his dad got him a, from Vegas, he got him like a red flames button down, like bowling style shirt with like dragons on it and shit like that. And it was the most horrific shirt you'll ever see in your life. And we were like, Joey Hash was his name. Joey, we bet you won't wear that 30 days in a row. <laughs> and, and he was like, we like, you can't wash it. You can't clean it. I bet you won't wear that fucking perfect shirt 30 days in a row. I was like, I bet I will. And he wore it 30 days in a row. But as it got towards the end, we bet him like, I don't know, $100 or whatever, some high school amount of money. And we just fucking towards the end so we're trying to win the bet we would just dump like milk oh. or like oh, be in the cafeteria spirit. like putting like ketchup or mustard on a sandwich and be like, oh whoops and he fucking wore it all 30 days it was one of the most impressive things i've ever seen so that to me is not embarrassing it is a, a feat of it goes from embarrassing honor. to cool yeah. yeah you know what i love about this show is we dox full names like oh yeah, yeah. you gotta be the number one doxing <laughs> pod yeah, yeah. yeah. Just the last name, I mean, last name well, though no 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 joey hash is in his real name i mean joey is but hash is we you can make up the names i never have <laughs> i don't have no. any i can't make up names yeah <laughs> joe i mean that's what we call them but it's just not his government what name. was his government name joe okay <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, let's bleep that. Let's bleep where he's actually from. Uh, we're moving on the diving board, um, and that's going up against number one. See, it's the most replied with thing, probably the most obvious, just the getting caught cranking your hog. Never happened to me. Never happened to me. Never happened to me. I've been scared about it through most of my teen years, though. I was, you guys weren't doing it right then. <laughs> yeah, or enough. <laughs> oh, you, mother, you definitely. Cranked it a ton. Did you ever get caught? No, there was one time I was like pretty close, but I mean. And then you got finished. caught. Elite reaction. <laughs> I never had like an embarrassing situation about it where like, like my pa- it was always my parents. It was twice, but it was like they never like what's going on. It was just like they quickly closed the door. It, mm-hmm. it, it didn't get worse, <sighs> but it was yeah. you know yeah. the, the, the threshold was breached for sure. I got caught eating out my girlfriend. Whoa! <laughs> by her mom. No. And when oh Kenja, that's horrible. It was that bad. might be the worst. What? what? By her mom. By her mom. Where, what, what did she, when she walked in, what was her view? What was her um, angle? So her we, view I, was like, oh, how can I <laughs> do that better? I was, I think, 16. And like, we, we weren't fucking fucking yet. So like, we, what we do is we put a blanket up. I was underneath the blanket just munching away. And like, the, she lived in this fucking like bat cave house, like huge. And like, we're in a separate wing from where everyone else was. And like, she came, comes into the wing and just sees it and goes, <clears throat> and like, I bolt up, like her just sopping wet vagina sitting there. And I got, okay. I'm like, oh, and I just, <laughs> all right, all right, dude. <laughs> I'm talking about a teenage <laughs> girl. Yeah. I was a teenage boy. <laughs> <laughs> it just covered everything Her up. Tight little pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then uh, I had to stay for dinner, which is the worst. Oh, oh man. That was the worst part. How many times I say you thought you'd already be full? Yeah. Uh, just, <laughs> you would have thought, but no, just, oh, we had, we had sausage for dinner too. That's, <laughs> I had one time I got a under the blanket over the pants hand job Ugh. on my girlfriend's couch. She's wearing sweatpants, so it was all right. Um, <laughs> and she, it was like slow. We thought we were being sneaky. And then like her sister was just like, you know the whole couch moves, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, ah, fucking shit. All right. Mm. All right, so cranking it versus, uh, Jay, your addition, going back down the diving board. Which one do you want to get caught Doing the Damn. Yeah, I think this is the championship. <laughs> right, I really think <laughs> Truly. this would be the championship. Uh, I feel like getting caught cranking, unless you're guy that, that guy on like CNN is like from one person specifically. And that memory sticks with you forever. But walking back down the high dive or any dive really, you're passing all of your peers. Some of them, as I think KB mentioned, like younger than you, like smaller than you. And at that moment, it feels like the world is too big for you. So I'm going to go with that. Has this happened to you? Uh, maybe once. Clearly. Yeah. yeah. Maybe once. <laughs> it's too no, I mean, the high dive. At, it feels like p- the world is bigger than you has been something. Yeah. That's that been writing <laughs> maniacally <laughs> in every notebook forever. Uh, mm-hmm. The high dive at the pool I had grown up was like 10 feet. And I feel like, I honestly don't remember. Like, I feel like 
um it could have but like if it did it was not on a crowded day mm-hmm. Do you know what i mean uh we used to go to the pool like super early uh so i eventually conquered it and i think i was fine but i feel like i did crawl down like once or twice but it was like there was probably no one even there mm-hmm. so you're gonna go with the with the diving over the cranking <laughs> yes all right nick i overestimate my bravery every single day um you know waiting in line for roller coasters i've gotten out of and then you have to wait while they all you know you're waiting there like excited for your friends to get off and just, how was it uh horrible i've done that so much everything i've chickened out of everything you can imagine uh it's been a constant theme in my life uh, i'm going with that going with the uh, diet i hate myself <laughs> I can't believe you guys. Yeah, this is nothing is worse. Getting caught masturbating your on. dick. Masturbating. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> masturbating my dick? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's a horse of a different color. <laughs> yeah. I would like getting caught, it. like touch, like oh, stroking your down. dick with your hand. <laughs> is that is you? That is the most. Im- I've mentally. Re- we're gonna skip to me. I've mentally rehearsed. <laughs> This and there is no right move. Even if you try to play the cool, funny guy, this Wait, is the worst thing that can happen. You got caught. I mentally rehearse what I would do oh, yeah. if I were to get caught. There's no decent move. I've, I've, getting caught I've, jacking off your dick is <laughs> that is the most embarrassing thing that could. You're happen. vigorous. You're you're making faces. This isn't you know some sexy thing. It's just pure. You think you're alone. You think you're safe. And a parent. I've had a girlfriend walk in on me. What? That's not as Ugh. bad. Parent is so bad. Yeah. Ugh. You're so ashamed. It's so shameful. It's it changes your relationship with your parents. Oh my. Yeah. It um, is the I, I see. I don't think it, as long as you don't have to have that conversation after. We I, we didn't, but it was like. Mine was like pretty quick. Well, I still vividly remember what their faces looked like. Mm-hmm. That stuck with me. All parents and, know you're doing it, though. I was taking yeah, eight showers yeah, but, a day. Yeah. But it's but, like, oh, dude, I'm the reason Africa doesn't have water. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, got, I would, I, I went home and like I would, I would have it just running, like just running. I'd get through full albums, and it was before Spotify would just play a new song. They'd be like, how, how did this start again? Because like, I still haven't gotten in the fucking shower yet. Yeah, that's how it started again. Just picturing some woman walking 14 miles for the. Bus. It on her head. <laughs> Please, John. <laughs> that curse, man. <laughs> My feet. <laughs> so tired. You're clearly going with diving. Yeah. Right? No. Whoa. No. Jacking you off your dick. Yeah. <laughs> diving one is a great submission. Though. It was okay until you said stroking your cock, and now yeah. someone yeah. sees that, it's Figurous. over. It's Figurous. over. But also, fuck Ken Jack for being like that is embarrassing. I've only gotten caught eating pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it can be so much cooler. It's stopping. Wet. You said it was. You said it was <laughs> sopping, said wet. sopping wet. My girlfriend's <laughs> mom and her mansion. <laughs> we were in a separate wing. We're <laughs> eating my rich I'm in girlfriend's for dinner. Pussy. Uh, Dude, it was it was from my disgusting mouth. The wetness. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here, so we're <laughs> getting caught eating a dry pussy would be <laughs> horrendous. That's the worst. Thing. That's worse. I, lift up, I lift up the blanket like dust comes out. And makes the noise. Uh, <laughs> all right, so Tommy. Oh, boy. I mean, I guess. I really like, I think the, the latter one's a great submission, but I guess if you're telling me tomorrow, whatever my parents want or, you know, see me, I mean, the parents is the worst one. Like if, Spider walking in a new Spider, whatever. We'd get past that. I'd rather him not. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. I, I, would, I, I, think I don't think you would. It would be embarrassing, would. but it, I, it wouldn't be like the end of the world. Would you rather yeah. Spider catch you jerking off or Creed Brat and catch you shitting? <laughs> <laughs> Brat and shit. Yeah, that's a story. I'm not coming to the office next to be like, Spider saw me jerking off. <laughs> you could flip it on him. Just be like, dude, that's yeah. gay. Spider yeah, walked yeah. in on me jerking off. What a pervert. <laughs> um, I'm gonna fuck. I'm going with the latter one. I just think that's a, that's yeah, a good you one. guys are this, yeah, you're crazy. fucking wrong about this. <laughs> All right, fights. Uh, I've 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 never gone down off a ladder. Not like I've gone down. Uh, jumped off the high dive. Like what if I was on a roller coaster? I, I've been. I've been trying to die since the day I was born with my umbilical cord in my mouth. Yeah. So like, <laughs> if, if things go awry, it goes well. Um, so I've never, I've never experienced that. So I can't take it. Um, the jerking off, it's not great. I don't, I, I, it's not, I think you've built it up like the monster you can't see in your mind. Yeah, I'm sure it's, I, I had one it's time easier when when it happens, but one time I had an apartment. It was like, it was like, a, it's like seven, it's like 10 plus years ago, like 72nd and second. 
seventh floor walk up, whatever the fuck it was. And like, it was so hot. We didn't have air conditioning in there. And (laughs) I was jerking off one day and I had taken my shirt off. Oh, and, no. and and I'm jerking off on the couch. Wait, catch it up, catch it on the couch, the I mean, common yeah, room I mean, couch. I, dude, my like bedroom like was so it was not <laughs> it didn't have the vibes for, to jerk off. And so I'm so by taking your shirt off, you were completely naked. No, I just had my pants down. I, okay, okay. I got my pants down there, but I had my shirt off. <laughs> That's so- and I hear my roommate's keys in the door, so I quickly fucking button my pants. But he comes in and he just like sits on the couch, and I'm acting normal. And because it, it wasn't insane, we were young, we were, we were virile, we had like our, you know, it wasn't, I wasn't this fat mess, so it wasn't crazy to be just sitting on the couch shirtless on a hot day, but I was, I was sweating so much and I was breathing so heavy that I felt like I had to address it. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so like, what are you addressing? <laughs> like, I didn't get caught jerking off, I was just like, <laughs> sweating, I was like, I was like, hey. Uh, elephant in the room. Like I was jerking off. <laughs> like, oh, I, wasn't, no I, I wasn't doing P90X in here. Like clearly <laughs> something was happening. Yeah. And I told him, and he was just like, and we weren't really like, good friends. Uh, but he, um, <laughs> he's yeah. just like, all right, man. <laughs> like we knew each other, but it wasn't a Craigslist thing. But it was. He, he's like, all right, <laughs> like, all right. Yeah, should we turn it up? <laughs> um, Thanks for telling me, man. Yeah. Appreciate <laughs> like, it. I think I think it would have been weird to just sit there. Breathing heavily and sweating, and then just being like, "What the fuck is he having a heart attack? Like, what is going on over here?" Um, so I'm going with the jerking off. I'm going with the jerking off. I was curious if Lewis ever caught you. No, no, Lou. I think Lou caught me. I for some reason I never have air conditioning in my apartments, and I think Lou one time I had my first like three years when we first moved here. I didn't have an air conditioning, and and we lived in like fucking an older building. Where you know they turn the heat up to a fucking billion, and uh, and so it was like one of those days where like it's the end of winter, so they're I'm sorry it's the start of winter, so it's like October and they turn the heat on, but it's still fucking beautiful out, so it's double hot, and I would sleep, I would sleep because I did we had I had no air conditioning, and I would sleep just on the on the mattress, naked, spread eagle, so like my skin <laughs> didn't touch my skin. And like one morning, he came in and woke me up, and I was just <laughs> and like splayed yeah. out. And like uh, a Peruvian so he, man. Yeah. Yeah. So he saw that, but no, he never caught me. Uh, never caught me wanking it. Gaz. That's worse than I think maybe wanking. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Soft dick. Yeah. Ooh, soft dick. Gross. Just, oh. No one's ever seen my soft dick. Um, the uh, nobody's ever seen your soft dick. Oh no. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't show it around proudly. But I. I, I Got hope a physical at the doctors. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I remember I got a physical doctor's when I was like, Wait, that's like, ass backwards. No what? one has seen your soft dick? No, I'm, I, mean, I was making a joke. Oh, like, so, I, oh, I don't yeah. like people seeing my soft Worst dick. joke of the episode. Just <laughs> 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 uh, waiting for the trolley horse. Does it every time. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, no, what, we doing a physical. I, I was like 12. And like didn't even have pubes yet, barely. But I knew kids who did. And they were talking about how they shaped. <laughs> but you had a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> had some. A little bit. And, and I heard people talking about how they shaved their pubes. So I just had like my little fucking grass patch, and I shaved it. Like I didn't know how to shave or anything, so I just like shaved it raw, like a blade. And my doctor was just like, a lot of a lot of razor burn. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I don't really know how to do. He's like, you probably just don't need to worry about that for a while. I was like, all right, thanks, Doc. Yeah, we can even add pretending that you hit puberty because I had to do that <laughs> oh, while. I was uh, horror stories. Puberty dude. and my friends talk about like how they would come when they jerk off. I was oh. like, oh yeah, me too. It fucking gets everywhere, and like I have so much ball hair. Yeah, and you <laughs> and do it, and then like, you just <laughs> pee a little at the end. Yeah, I used to have dry <laughs> orgasms. The best. Did it? I uh, yeah. I wish I could go back. Oh my god, I wish. I, I hit puberty so late that like in our hockey shower, I think my junior year of high school, they like had like a party. They were like, fight says pubes. <laughs> and it was like jumping up and down, gassed up. Um but pretending you've had sex before. If that's yeah, not yeah. on the list, is that on the list? That is not on the list. That was that was a oh, dude, I remember caught this, this getting, being, getting caught lying about having it. Yeah. Sex. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't realize obviously until I had sex, but like we'd be in like the same thing, the hockey showers that made me think of it. Be like I was like pretending 
I was like, guys, just so like I know I'm doing it right. You guys do it. I was just I just thought of the length of a porn. I was like, you guys, you guys have sex for like 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Rudy does now. Rudy and, does it now. And, and everyone what? was like, yeah. Oh, you haven't Rudy heard. Rudy says it. he has 30 minutes of. Pe- he's like, yeah, 30 minutes of penetration. Bro, get it's the insane. fuck out of here. Five to seven. Get me <laughs> out of there. 40, like 30 minutes. I still can't. I can't go back down the cross that bridge again. Um, but we're tied up. Cranking versus diving. The diving board. I'll break it and I'll go with cranking just because it's more day to day. There's a more of a day to day word to that. Thank you. Yeah. Have you ever caught a woman cranking off? That's awesome. Yeah. That's... No, I've never caught it. I've nothing seen it. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, yeah. Rubbing one out. Tracking their dicks. Oh, you, watch, you ever catch a woman fisting her butt? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, fist your butt. <laughs> She's like, Ow. oh, no. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> in here. Oh. <laughs> You've seen that video before of the guy who poops out his balls, right? Yeah. It's, no. Oh, it's, it's, all, it's the greatest time. video of all time. It's all time. Oh, we got to go visit that later. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. You're already laughing. Oh, you, I thought oh, you poop. meant like the shit came from his balls. No, no, no. no he, he poops out his balls in his ass. His ass seen that. balls out. It's yeah, so yeah. Funny. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it doesn't sound funny. It's Dude, funny. No, oh. it doesn't sound it. It's hilarious. Yes. Okay. I Amazing. promise you. All right. Uh, next, we, on the other side, we have the six versus the 11. The six is puking in public. I think that was yours, right? Yeah. Puking in public's rough. That's, that's really it's, it's embarrassing. Did we just go to the other side of the bracket? Yeah. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah, we got you. Oh, that's what Heidelberg, it's you. It's, it's yeah. Feidelberg every time. Uh, every <laughs> time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. Those threes or sixes. Oh. Is it mine? Yeah. I don't know if it was left here from the yak. I just I have a headache. I feel dehydrated. My motherfucker's reaching over onto my seat. Well, it could have been left here from the yak. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's going uh, Puking in public is going up against getting caught staring at someone, uh, which also is like, you get not like like that, but like, you know, you catch someone's dri- like eyes. Yeah. You're staring at a woman. Yeah. They catch she has no eyes. idea. Uh, I'll start with you fights, getting caught staring or puking in public. Staring, 100%. puke in public very frequently. So that I never puke in public. I puked at lowering the bar. Videos. Oh, I forget. I don't even count. That's just that's just private. Work. That's work. It's, yeah. <laughs> if there's a camera, I don't count it as public. It's like okay. that's that's being filmed. Okay. That's performing. I'm an artist. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. No. It's 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 locking someone eye, locking eyes with someone, doing absolutely anything for sure. Mm. Yep. But, yeah, I would say like it's not even the. I think it's worse almost if you're not staring at someone, but like your gazes just yeah, keep crossing. Yeah. And it's like, are you staring at me? Or are you staring at me? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll go with that. Staring. Uh, I'm gonna go with throwing up in a public place. I'm just trying to pick. Have you ever puked in public? See, I when I hear yeah, it in public, I don't think of a public place. I think on the street. It's yeah. like embarrassing, and it's like that terrible feeling of throwing up. So it's horrible. Yeah, I had to puke in a bar or in a like a, a pitcher at a bar once, and it, I never went back. I was mortified of that more than anything. Francis, I, I, yeah, I mean, I don't even remember what the other option is other than puking. Um, but I think that I do whatever I have to to throw up in private. Uh, and I will induce myself if I feel like I might throw up. I will induce myself to throw up in private. One of my biggest fears is throwing up on an airplane with a yeah. seatmate right to my left to uh, just like put that on a stranger. Watch me throw up into a vomit <laughs> bag in my seat as you know turbulence or whatever. I just anything like that is I, I don't know. It's just I would never want to do that to another person because I think it's one of the most disgusting things to witness. Someone said that happened during uh, the Celtics game the other night. Like someone tweeted that. Why don't you tell us the story, John? <laughs> 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 it happened on the flight back from a rough night or something, right? Then they all puke. Yeah, turbulence. Yeah, oh, I heard about that. Uh, Nick, uh, it's puking in public for me. I puked in an IKEA, but not because I was drunk. I was sick. And it was so embarrassing. Didn't when it's not a drink, if it's not like a drinking event, it's way worse. Yes. Because yeah. yeah. if it's a drinking event, you could yeah. you'd be funny. That just shows you're awesome. Yeah. My friends always with dragon, so you have to like wave your arms as you're puking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but when you're sick, it's just, it's so sad and it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a more gross puke. Mm-hmm. So what was that debate a while ago? People have puke bowls? What? No. You didn't hear about this? No. There's certain people that have, they have, that. They have designated puke bowls in their house. To puke I'm in, fine that's, with that. Yeah, that actually makes sense. We have we have like a, a bin, not a, like not a, a no, 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 not a trash bin. Trash bin. No, it's not a trash bin. It's like a plastic container, like a popcorn bowl. Oh yeah, oh, we used oh, to yeah. do one, but we would put like a trash bag yeah, over top something of it. in it too. Oh no, I did a toy. I did a little bathroom garbage storage bin. Yeah, yeah basically. But my mom would put kitty litter in it when I had the flu, so I puke into kitty litter. Oh, was she keeping the puke there for a long time? Or no, I just think so. It would like be easier to clean out. I don't know. Uh, okay. 
Uh, I recommend bags going forward. Yeah, bags is a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jay. So in this scenario, you can be at a bar and you can be caught staring at presumably a woman or you can be caught throwing up. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take throwing up. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. A girl across the bar, she just sees Jay staring at <laughs> <laughs> And she pukes. <laughs> that sound is so funny too. Uh, okay, next up, we have three seed. Three seed is um sending a screenshot to the wrong person oh. that's, a, that's a really embarrassing Whew. um and then the 14 see this is yours tommy sit uh getting caught sitting alone at a restaurant or bar waiting for someone else oh yeah i hate that i don't mind as much i love eating thing. alone i love going to yeah. restaurants alone i wish I, I just feel like people are gonna say oh there's tommy smokes by himself what a fucking loser what a pathetic <laughs> yeah. loser Every, we say that anyway out, um gonna hate me jay you're up first sending a text a screenshot of a text to the wrong person or sitting alone. I think thoughts. eating alone and doing stuff by yourself is cool. Like I would go to the movies by myself a lot. I do go to the concerts, movies. going out to eat. I think that's totally. This is okay though, because like everything's in the dark. Like you're not really. No, the movies alone. That guy sketches me out. Oh, oh so? dude, depends on the movie. Time. Joker, yes. Joker, right. yeah. <laughs> Couples <laughs> retreat, probably okay. <laughs> yeah. Like sad guy going through a breakup. A guy at Joker who just keeps yelling, "This guy gets it." <laughs> 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 Marking down the exits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, what was the other one? The, uh, the, the one? screenshots. And Screenshot. Oh yeah, that's yeah. mortifying. I've I've done that once. It was just a you try to have that like recall text, but it Trying did not exist the at the time. Yes, very 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 embarrassing. Anything, Nick? We talked about this on the Yak today, uh, and I brought up Tommy sent a wrong text and oh, had, I did you had the worst recovery. Oh yeah, what was it? It doesn't matter. <laughs> what, was the, what was your recovery? Well, I was just like, I sent this to the wrong group. It didn't matter. Mm. I can't wait to hear, see what this was. Um, so sending a screenshot to the wrong person. Screenshot, wrong texts, anything yeah. like that. Yeah. It's just, I love eating alone. Yeah. And I think that um, eating alone and not looking at your phone the whole time and makes, first of all, makes you enjoy your food more. All you have to do is focus on the flavor <laughs> of the food. And uh, as someone what? who we don't need help with that, <laughs> well, I don't need to think about tasting. And you I'm don't gonna, have to. I'm going to stay on my phone the whole time. <laughs> you don't That's have the best be... part about being alone. Yes, you just look at your phone the whole time. I would like to add, like, I'm, I'm thinking more of like, I'm thinking more of like a date. Like you're wait, maybe on a first date, you're waiting at the bar, and like everybody else in the bar is on a date, and you're the one guy sitting there alone. Yeah, that, that's what I assumed with your. That's the book, time I book to a restaurant is the best. When I'm alone, I'm 100 not on my phone because then it gives a uh, air of mystery. It gives he, confidence. Look, look, look at that guy. He doesn't even fucking look at his phone. If, I, if I'm waiting for somebody, I just stand there. I hate that I just said it gives confidence. I meant <laughs> it oh. gives an air of confidence. Oh, yeah. 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 Is he oh, I hope like these strangers think bullshit. I'm confident. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna look at my phone and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna automatically <laughs> taste the flavors. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm thinking about. <laughs> automatically, <laughs> that's a given. Don't you hate it when you're looking at your phone? You <laughs> forgot, forgot to <laughs> taste. <laughs> I was too distracted. I oh, fuck, my dinner's oh, gone. God. I didn't get to taste any. That was so dumb. <laughs> You're the mad Francis. Yeah. <laughs> Try to the wrong person or sitting alone at the restaurant, Francis. Which one do you go? <laughs> I pass. <laughs> KB. <laughs> no, not that it's just text yeah it's the text. yeah it's the text there's one i remember the worst example this was like my senior year of high school and the, it was john and dan we'll, we'll, we'll dox them and dan yeah they'll be able on. to find them yeah it was <laughs> taking, <laughs> taking on and dan oh, oh yeah yeah <laughs> you doxed them <laughs> those poor guys yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's a wing place down the street. <laughs> and it's John's. Wings, Dan pretty John's. good. Pretty pretty expensive. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not that good of a story. I'm tired. I need, a, I need to eat and I have a headache. So I'm going with uh, fights. Screenshots. <laughs> Screenshots can move on. Uh, next is the seventh seed. Uh, yeah, this is a good one, I think, too. So when you're, you're having a conversation with someone, you laugh maybe. You smile and you walk away. You're still smiling. Someone catches you just smiling. You know what I'm talking about here? Mm -hmm. Say that again? Basically, someone catches you smiling from something that they didn't induce. Like, let's say I'm, I read something funny and I, like, smile at it. And I look oh, up, I don't think that's embarrassing. Who, who submitted this? Someone on Twitter. Really? You so? Dude, this is... Are you talking about like you get, like, a cute text from your girl and then you smile? What is it? 
Uh, I'm not repeating it. I, 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 get, I have a real headache. There's nothing wrong with this. Some, like, sometimes I'll be walking, and and honestly, it's not even... I, uh, the, I feel like people catching me emoting. I, 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 I get like... Smiling I Smiling at your phone? No, no, not at my phone. Like, if I look, I lock eyes with someone, and I'm smiling from something else. You know what I'm saying? What he said was, if you have a, let's say, a funny moment or something, and you walk away, and you're still smiling... And then another person sees you smiling. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I think like, like listening to a clip or something like that. Like, because I, I don't, I, I've never really had that where I walk away from someone. But if you're listening to something on your phone and you're like, <laughs> and you're kind yeah. of laughing, why, yourself. why, why is this embarrassing? Having emotions. Embarrassing. Someone of, will shun you for showing joy. I don't think they'll shun me, but they'll be like, if I walk by someone laughing, I'll be like, what the fucking weirdo? Yeah, what's that guy laughing at? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I, I, I mean, it. that that feels well. I, I mean, I guess I'm I'm the odd man out here because I I think that if anyone were to make you feel embarrassed for that, they're a fucking horrible person. Well, I don't think they're making you feel embarrassed. It's just like no. inherent embarrassment yeah. you feel. I yeah, think I'm, you could I'm, say that for a lot of these things. <laughs> <laughs> thrilled, that we have on here. thrilled to be showing happiness. Really? Yeah. If someone Not caught me. me smiling and they were like, what are you smiling about? I'm like, I'm glad I get to share <laughs> this joy with you. <laughs> Let me tell you what I'm smiling about. <laughs> That's going up against one of Tommy's um, watching a or looking at a picture or watching a video of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, the mince, it happened to Mincy last night. Yeah, we it traced was, it a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's bad. That's a really yeah. good one. Uh, we'll start with you fights. Uh, I'll go with um, looking at a picture or, or of yourself or a video. Oh, the, it, an Instagram picture of yourself. That's not the latest. <laughs> that, that might be the, <laughs> the lamest thing. thing. Do. <laughs> uh, zooming in on a shirtless figure yourself. I think you could almost put that in with like also like. Uh, I mean, are, is this the last matchup? Uh, one more after this. Well, I'm assuming it's not on there. Like, catch someone catches you staring at your reflection a little bit too long. Yeah. Like in a window. A anything where you're looking at yourself too much. Um, I think oh, the yeah. window, that doesn't count, dude. The window, I have no embarrassment for that one. I'm like Francis. Mm. I, I, I'll turn any window into a mirror real fast anytime I'm walking by it. Did I say that I do that? No, but you were saying you're not embarrassed <laughs> about... About you just probably do. Joy. Yeah, yeah. Not vanity. Not, not narcissism. <laughs> well, vanity, I would probably be a bit more embarrassed. Nah. Yeah. I'm voting for the picture. Picture? Gaby? Um, or video. Yeah, that. Yeah. But you're right, John. New York is filled with flattering uh, buildings. I don't ever stop and watch, but as I'm walking by, I'm like, oh, that fits yeah. a that. There he is. I saw a woman doing it. And it was a whole wall, like half a block of, of window, mirrored windows, basically. And she was walking towards me and she was looking at herself. And then I was about to get into the window zone. And I had to very strongly force myself not to look. <laughs> I was very conscious of it. Um, so you're going to go then with a looking at yourself vanity pick. Yeah. Vanity pick, Nick? It's vanity pick. Uh, every time I walk past Rudy's desk, he's looking at a photo of himself. <laughs> I think you could replace his monitor with a mirror, and he wouldn't notice. It would it's probably take time. about twenty minutes. Yeah. I think that's why realize. Rudy photoshops so much stuff. Is who he has an excuse to. He's like, no, I'm not looking at a picture. Yeah, he's photoshopping. He's photoshop. Yeah. It's just an unedited photo of himself in Photoshop. Yeah. Uh, it's Guys, I need a thumbnail for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want me to do? Uh, Jay, you're going with that too. I'm assuming. Yeah. I. Getting caught smiling like happens to me multiple times a day. It's mm. Zero embarrassment. So in the last matchup of the day is two seed versus our second chain game. The second chain is getting caught in New Orleans, not doing anything. And somebody from, someone from your work shows up and does a secret video of you and everything you do in New Orleans. That's good. It's a good one. Uh, picking a wedgie or adjusting your ball area. Yeah, I don't like that. But but here it's like so many men. It's it's. I don't even I don't really get up the crack wedgies and I, I adjust my balls often. Though. Yes. But I feel like there's easier ways to like mask that, like you do the extra steps or the longer, a little bit longer step. Yeah, they know. Everyone knows. But, <laughs> uh, I think you included this eating something phallic in nature. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't. It's not with me anymore. I'll eat a banana, mm -hmm. no problem. But back in the day, there was a lot of masculinity tied to not having potassium. The <laughs> now, Che, you included this one. I need to know if you actually did it. Stealing someone's lunch from the work fridge? You got caught stealing someone's work from the lunch fridge? No, but that would be mo like mortifying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Getting caught. Classic Friends episode. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and getting caught. Uh, so dirty text or nude? Getting caught. One of your nudes getting caught, or one of your dirty texts. My like, if your sex history got leaked, I think it'd be the worst thing yeah. that could happen to anybody. Yep. 
Um, so go over those options again. Um, getting caught in New Orleans, not doing anything, adjusting your wedgie or ball area, eating something phallic, uh, eating, stealing someone's lunch from the work fridge, or the dirty text or nude. Che, which one do you want? I think stealing someone's lunch from the work fridge because it happened to like Casey a while ago and she demanded like the tapes be pulled. I think that would be humiliating because you know it's not your lunch, but it's all everyone's around as peers and equals and stuff like that. So you're knowingly breaking the rules and in turn hurting someone else. So I'd, I would say though that if you're that much of a savage where you're going to take someone else's lunch, you might not even feel embarrassed. Or you could just make it so cool just be like, yeah, I was hungry. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> Smelled really looked, good. Yeah, yeah, look yeah. good. Yep. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> you want it back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't fart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be- I don't have much left. Let me see what I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could become yeah, a just, cool guy yeah. move real quick. <laughs> so you're going to steal the lunch, yep. Nick? Uh, man, I don't think any of these are too, too embarrassing. How about this one? Getting caught playing today's New York Times crossword during the podcast. Did you get caught? Who got caught? Oh, oh Kyle doesn't know. Yeah, the embarrassing thing that is it's a Tuesday and I'm not <laughs> done in eight minutes. <laughs> Kyle, eight minutes, 17 seconds. Jeez. You're still working on that? <laughs> I'm Mine was the more. train ride. Right, I'm going to have to beat oh, no. that. I'm going to beat it. <laughs> I'm going to beat you guys. All right. Uh, what are you at? Getting beat by one I'm second by smokes minutes. on the mini. I was gonna think it's I was an like, honor to be Days in a row. <laughs> Did I get yesterday by a second? Yeah. Wait, do you have New York Times crossword? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Feidelberg. Oh, I, I, I actually oh, 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 to The opposite of embarrassing. Oh, I just got it. I just got it recently. Oh, I'll send you a link to add me as a friend. Okay. I don't know how to do that, but I will do it. Welcome to the club. All right. Now we have our, which one of these, sorry, Nick, did you want? I'm doing a write in when, uh, you kind of do the trip, but don't really fall. Semi-fall? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Semi fall, Francis. Hmm. Um, ooh, here's one. When someone asks to borrow your phone to look something up and they pull up your internet browser and one of the shortcuts is a porn website, mm. like the shortcut icons. Do you know I don't really about? have embarrassment about that. But, uh, I also don't have that as a shortcut. It's, I don't have it as a shortcut. You just frequently like a, visited website. Whatever frequently yeah. visited yeah. website. That's what I mean. I may have turned disabled all of those. I, so I need to know how to do that. I I actually, even, I don't even know how to do that. Yeah. I wish I did. There's a gigantic X every time I open my phone. <laughs> I know. I just have to I just hold it and delete it every yeah, time. Yeah, no, that I, had to, I had to like, oh, YouTube I delete it all the time. <laughs> and the Pornhub one always would just... It would, yeah, it would stay there. <laughs> no matter <laughs> what, every time you look up your browser, the P would stay there. <laughs> yeah. I had to look up at a YouTube tutorial. How to now you don't know how to get rid of the YouTube for nothing. Every, uh, you delete it once, and then it would just kick it over to the right. And then I delete it again. And then it's like... Oh, the next visited website, and it's like how to cure fucking. It, it's like another website that can't possibly be the top grouping, yeah. the third most visited one. Mm -hmm. Some super random thing. Anyway, the the uh, a, a late ad. The you just saying handing your phone to someone. Uh, this is a very rare, and it's just an embarrassing story. But I had to look up the. We saw Nate Bargatze in Arizona, and I had to look up his name of his new special. Which I had seen, I just didn't know the name. Yeah. I wanted to say that was funny. I watched the clip of you telling this story. Oh, yeah. And I fucking had to show him his own fucking face. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was oh, that's that's brutal. Yeah. That's like oh, that's the most embarrassed I've ever been in my entire life. Dude, one time I was at my neighbor's place, and I really liked this guy. He's like a very well respected person, and uh, he 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 asked me to show him a YouTube skit sketch that I'd made recently. So I went into his YouTube browser on his smart TV, and the first thing that came up when I hit search is that was video. Francis Ellis fired Barstool. Oh, <laughs> no, way. no way! I had to pretend oh, like I hadn't God. seen it. Oh, oh, oh Francis, Francis so Ellis would have been bad. Yeah, like Francis bad. Ellis fired Barstool. Oh my Damn. God! So tough. Even clarifying the watch that in front of the whole family, bro. <laughs> On your TV yeah, on in the, the living TV. room? That's a phone video at yeah. best. Uh, I'm changing my vote to that. <laughs> that, is, oh. that is it. Yeah. Uh, oh, that might be the winner guy. of the yeah. <laughs> I'm adding that in right now. <laughs> that was just <laughs> one. How were you afterwards? Didn't well, taste your food for weeks. I, <laughs> so distracted. Yeah, I mean, this was this guy's awesome. I love oh. this guy, and he's wait, go on a little, go in a little more detail. Like, what is he? he why is he so he's awesome? Re, he he's he works for a, a 
professional and he works for an NBA team and he's like really really high up. Is he a player? Oh, okay. He's but I, I think you could upper manager. You could get past like it's that. Obi Toppin or something. <laughs> you, you can just be like, yeah, I was interested. No, I know. I brought oh, it up they, to him yeah. the, the next time I saw him as like a joke, yeah. and he was like, yeah, that I, one's not. He wasn't. He had a decent answer for it, mm. but. Because, but, but at the time, I was like, oh, I wish, because I didn't even know if he knew that about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that he was like researching a very bad moment <laughs> for me TV. about me, and then just like <laughs> shitty. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's that's oh got my, my vote instantly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are the options? Um, What's the two? Take that. Here? You like that one? The fact that he good. watched it on the TV, I yeah. Think, yeah, yeah, I know he had snacks. So- <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. made popcorn to watch your demise. <laughs> he paused it to go pee. Oh, what if it, you saw? He, he liked it too. <laughs> Comment <laughs> history. Yeah. About time. Uh, the two seat here is getting uh, caught picking your nose. If that's an option, I'll go with that. Yeah, I'm going. I mean, I, it is an option now. And Cherry switched to it as well. Facebook friend it. requesting someone who's like sitting next to you, but you didn't talk yet. <laughs> <laughs> have you happened. done that yeah <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. when i just thought of uh if when you actually like like an extremely old photo on that happened to me on Facebook, oh yeah 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 like in like a three-year-old photo that was rough just keep <laughs> adding them and see if we can set the record yeah this episode. <laughs> uh fights uh so you go first then nose picker Getting cop kicking your nose versus um, Francis's whole story just now. Francis's whole story. Francis's story. <laughs> Francis's whole story. Yeah. Francis's story. Francis's story. I'm happy. Yep. Nice. It's gonna win. And now, uh, anyway, we can go through our run through our playoffs really quick because it's been a long episode. Yeah. Um, first, taking a photo or video of someone getting caught taking photo or video of someone, uh, not understanding someone's accent. Jay. Not understanding someone's accent. Accent. Uh, accent even like when tommy does like his chinese accent i yeah. still like get nervous Struggle. and i panic like i can't mm-hmm. answer it yeah. yeah yeah when tommy takes his fingers and makes his eyes more narrow yeah. Yeah. and does the accent uh that is tough but yeah it's definitely accent yeah accent mm-hmm. accent as well tommy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh he did it he did the wind up <laughs> the wind up um yeah accent Accent and fights. Uh, what was it? Accent versus what? Uh, getting caught taking a photo or video of someone. Wait. Oh no! If it, if the fl- if there's a flash or a yeah. sound. Oh, if the sound what? of the camera goes off, doing it's everything done. you can to make this as long. Ew, first of all, we've been doing this for like an hour. No, dude, we've been here an <laughs> hour, hour and a half. half. Like three hour and a half. Uh, the uh, I have a headache. really bad headache. The 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 accent. Accent. I normally wouldn't mind. I just I had no oh. sleep last night, so I'm <laughs> fucking dead. So pretending to know someone versus cranking it, John. Um, cranking it, cranking it, cranking, cranking. Yeah, ripping tip. Oh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wait, fellas. So, friends, you may not have been here for this. Do you know how Tommy used to jerk off? No. <laughs> <laughs> are you for real yeah like a dj spinning like a disc treated his like, dickhead like a clit like yeah i would like rub with my fingers like right where like the dickhead meets the yeah when, let me ask you when you were demonstrating why were you giving me the sounds too <laughs> yeah what i don't know just to show the sounds i had some make. effects is this, honestly is it felt a, it feels good i would recommend do you still do it that why way? do you have to do that with your wrist why can't you just <laughs> <laughs> get, it's really like getting here getting that tip of the finger right in the tip of the dick <laughs> And you would come from that? This was more when I was having dry orgasms. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, so Francis jerking off versus is not knowing someone. Yeah, it's true. It's jerking off, you guys. Yep. I, I have such a monster cock that it doesn't. So I'm not really embarrassed when I get caught. Uh, oh no, it's yeah. it's jerking off. Got the absolute hoss. <laughs> my cock's so big I can't be embarrassed <laughs> ever about anything <laughs> <laughs> anytime you have a vaguely like, embarrassing situation just pull your pants down really I should be embarrassed <laughs> uh, jerking nah. off versus not understanding it's the accent Che jerking off jerking off it's jerking off but it's a little bit closer mm-hmm. yurkin yurkin maybe jerking off yeah the jerking off jerking off jerking Sweep. So, all right, that's going into the finals. Cranking it. On the other side, fights. Let's start with uh, sending someone a screenshot of a text conversation you're having uh, versus puking in public. Screenshot. Screenshot. Dang. Tommy? Screenshot. Yeah. Screenshot. Screenshot. That was not as easy as it looked. <laughs> what I just did. Uh, <laughs> screenshot. Screenshot. Extremely easy. 
<laughs> from here. I'll get Steven, you do to your bottle and you get one shot. It's not as easy as it looked. Looked pretty. It looked like yeah. you struggled mightily. <laughs> you barely did it. <laughs> like it was your first time ever doing it. Look so it looked hard. I think I have an appropriate grasp on how difficult that throw is. And for the podcast listeners, Francis tried to throw a bottle into a trash did. can. Did. Did. See, did. 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 You get one take. I'm Some not going to finish this water by then. Chug that Dump shit. it out. I'm not going to finish the water by then. I'll drink it. No, I want the rest it. of it. I want it. You, <laughs> you mean you're the full gonna... Pedialyte. Can you dump it in something? Screenshot. In the trash. Screenshot. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, so it's a screenshot. Later. We'll deal with screenshot. this Screenshot. Yeah, let's keep... Screenshot. And the last one here um, is Francis's whole story versus uh, <laughs> watching a video or a picture of yourself. <laughs> I mean, Francis. this is someone else watching a picture video of yourself without you knowing. So that. Yeah. Imagine he walked into your room and he saw a search that said Francis Hell is fired on your own TV. That would be abs- That would be even more bizarre. I don't I think agree. it wouldn't be. I don't think that's yeah. as bad. No. Yeah. Just watching yourself get fired over and over. No, wrong. Uh, I'm going to go with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Francis's story. Damn, Tommy. Fuck. You were on a roll, too. Somebody go. Yeah, you were having a good episode. Yeah. yeah. I had, it's this headache. It's seriously such a bad headache. <laughs> ever since you started pretending, ever since you did this. I started driving, mean, I can't wait to get home and just rub that tip. Is it? Does it file it down? <laughs> I think that's probably what happened to Brett Favre. <laughs> he has a real flat top. Yeah, he does. Lord. It's flush. It's like Arnold's friend Gerald. <laughs> it's flush. I mean, you're going with the... Um, your story as well. And what's the other alternative? Um, watching or looking at a picture of yourself or a video of yourself. What's yeah, the I'll tree? go with I'll go with my firing thing. Hi, what tree does Brett Favre's cock look like? A baobab. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> That's from Madagascar. The world, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Francis story. Maybe. Yep. Yeah. 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 So Francis's story versus sending a screenshot, getting to the finals. It's close, but it's Francis's story. Francis story. Francis. Francis, Francis story. Sure. Francis's story is. A one-off kind of thing. If you send a screenshot, you're kind of you're you're hating, and that person catches you, and they. Oh, if we're being we'll honest, like it's you the again. Screenshot. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Screenshot. We're doing yeah. a whole thing. I'm saying Francis. Sticking with Francis. We all voted for Francis originally. So Francis' story versus getting caught jerking off. Francis. Let's combine this one. Getting caught. Getting caught jerking, <laughs> jerking off to off. that video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Francis. I, I, I'm gonna go with jerking off. Mm-hmm. For this. And I think that should win if yes, you're honest. Be I want to go with Nick's. Getting caught jerking off to a Francis Ellis fired barstool video. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you said A like there's multiple. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Getting caught by Francis. Yeah. 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 That would be worse. Uh, <laughs> all right. So that's the winner of episode 71. <laughs> Getting caught jerking off. We'll see you guys next time.